Hi, my name is Megan Story and I'm an MA student at the University of North Texas in the technical writing program. In this presentation, I'll be talking about my experience working for a tech startup company called Next Up as a technical writer. I obtained the job through a close friend. She was aware that I was pursuing a degree in technical writing, so she set me up with an interview for a full-time position at her company. I was hired on with Next Up in early August to assist the small team with product documentation and to help the customer success team troubleshoot client calls. The company consists of about 15 employees, all working remotely. Next Up product's primary function is to integrate Jira with Slack in order to reduce the context switching between the two platforms. Essentially, Next Up products make it possible to perform all functions users can normally perform in Jira within the Slack application. I work directly under Shannon Vincent Brown, who is the customer success manager. She and other team members provide me with projects such as creating help documentation for different Next Up products for client use. I have also had the opportunity to create video tutorials and marketing workflows for company products. I work closely with our products team to create documentation for the latest releases. Another of my responsibilities is to perform a content perform content audits on existing documentation to maintain uniformity and cohesion across all company documents. During my time at NextUp, I have learned how to create GIFs that are incorporated into our help documentation to ease customer use. We use a program called ScreenFlow to do this, which consists of capturing a screen recording while demoing a NextUp product. I have also learned how to create documentation in accordance with the company guidelines. I have become familiar with JIRA and how to coordinate with the development team to produce product documentation. I have learned how to collaborate with my teammates and the importance of reaching out for help. Lastly, I have learned the significant, a significant amount about each individual product and how to communicate its use to clients. One of my first major projects that I worked on uh, when I started was creating a marketing workflow videos for our newest application called Meeting Plus. This application works like many other Next Up products to reduce context switching between communication tools such as Slack and Jira. Meeting Plus allows users to schedule meetings directly through Slack and communicate with Jira to update information on both platforms simultaneously. To develop these workflow videos, I had to learn the product and all of the, its features while also communicating with my team and clients to develop use cases to demonstrate the benefits of using each product. I ended up creating five workflow videos that showcase specific features of Meeting Plus. I used a variety of different tools to complete these tasks, such as async video messaging platform called Loom. Loom allows for you to capture videos from your desktop that quickly uploads to a shareable link that can be easily incorporated into web platforms. It's also a simple way to share videos with your colleagues. So for example, we have a feature in Meeting Plus where you can schedule retroactive meetings and scrum meetings. Since many of the companies that use our products are globally distributed, the multi-time zone feature became its own workflow. I created a video where I demoed how to use the feature while also describing a scenario where the feature can be useful, such as informing users that this tool is a great way to allow your globalized team to submit their scrum reports in their individual time zones. This feature enables your team to work from a time frame that is comfortable for them from anywhere around the world. Another example of a workflow I created was for the anonymize feature. It can be used when creating retrospective meetings. Retrospective meetings can be a great way to analyze what is working and what isn't for a project or sprint. The anonymize feature allows you to collect honest feedback when running these meetings. Hi, this is Megan from Next Up. We're very excited to launch our latest application, Meeting Plus. 
Meeting Plus integrates Jira with Slack and is designed to make your experience with Scrum Meeting streamlined and efficient. The app auto prompts your team in Slack to report current issue status based on Jira activity, keeps your boards organized, and creates a shareable summary. So let me show you how this process works. Once you download the Meeting Plus application, you can pull it up here in Slack and you have the option of creating um, various types of meetings or you can simply create Scrum. You're going to name the meeting as well as provide a brief description if you'd like or you can also add a um, Zoom meeting link if you prefer. When selecting the time of your meeting, Meeting Plus will automatically convert the time you select to the appropriate time zone for each user. This is really useful if you have a globalized team working from different time zones. And in addition, you can indicate what time you need the response from your users, and this will also be relative to their respective time zones. You can indicate the channel for which you would like the report to be generated as well as send, um, select to send a report reminder. And you can choose when you would like that reminder to be sent. This is where you'll configure your meeting. By um, selecting the subset of JIRA boards, you can control which tickets will be suggested when users are filling out their Scrum reports. So as you can see, I have created the report, and this is what users will see when they're being prompted to um, submit their updates. So we're going to go ahead and start the response. And as you can see, there are no uh, ticket suggestions because I haven't completed any uh, tasks in Slack. But if I do want to comment on a ticket, I can type the issue key here and select. And this area, what did you work on today? As you can see, uh, there are suggested tickets that have populated. I will select a few here, give a brief description of what I've worked on. And if I don't see the ticket that I'm looking for, I can also search for it here in this field. And now Meeting Plus will uh, recognize the tickets that are in progress and uh, since you selected that you worked on them, it will prompt you to select whether or not you want to transition them. So you're going to select Submit. And lastly, it will ask if anything's blocking you. If yes, you can select yes and indicate the reason. Click Submit. And here you're going to see a response summary. So each question that you answered with the tickets that you referenced for your review. And you'll select Submit. And once your users have completed the um, participation in this meeting, you can view the report. As you can see here, um, two users indicated that they were being blocked and the issue is underneath that. You can click this button here to view the re full report. Um, here you can see the report and each user, the tickets that they worked on, what they worked on yesterday, what they'll be working on today, and if they're being blocked. We also have a multi-view option where you can view the JIRA tickets specifically or you can view via each individual user. Thank you so much for watching this demo. I hope that it helped educate you on how you can utilize this application. Uh, please check out our workflows for more in-depth understanding of how you can best utilize this application. And please um, reach out if you have any questions. Thanks so much. Another project that I was tasked with was writing a blog post detailing the company team building trip that we took in September. The blog post communicates the importance of team building, especially for a remote team. 
The blog post includes trends, stats that emphasize the importance of incorporating fun into the work dynamic, ensuring employees feel appreciated. Happier employees equate to better job performance. Some of the biggest challenges for me when stepping into this position was knowing what the expectations were and learning the general concept of the company products. Once I was able to do that though, things really started to come together for me. When I began, I had a limited understanding of how the company product worked. I felt intimidated, which impacted my confidence. In hindsight, I realize now that my you know, feelings uh, were totally reasonable given that it's a really complex product and it's going to take time to understand. So I realized it was really important that I asked as many questions as I could and didn't feel insecure about feeling like I was going to be judged as incompetent um, because my team just generally wants me to succeed. Um, and so it's been really great getting to work with this company um, and feel supported. So um, yeah, if there was anything I could, I would change, it would be, you know, just asking more questions in the beginning. Um, but otherwise, uh, you know, it's it's been awesome. Thank you so much for watching my presentation. And I hope that this gives you an idea of what working in the technical writing field is a little bit about.